I'm constantly haunted by what's going to happen when there's no more coverage. What's going to happen if I have no more job that provides the insurance? What's going to happen when he hits the next cap and can't access the medication, can't access the treatment? That to me has been the hardest part. When we found out we had a lifetime cap, I sat in the car and cried because I knew we were going to hit it and I didn't know how we were going to survive and how we were going to pay for all of this. So it's constantly having to think ahead three steps and trying to figure out what is our next option to be able to provide care for our son. We knew that uh, if something didn't get passed, we were going to be in a lot of trouble. Our Constitution and, and the founding documents of our country talk about you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And without health, you can't have any of that. So the Affordable Care Act has improved our quality of life. Knowing that we don't have to deal with the cap anymore means that we can focus on the best care and the proper care uh, for his condition. He's going to get the care he needs. He's not going to um, face the complications that arise from not getting treatment. So that could endanger his health or, or even his life. Before, when we were dealing with the cap with my son, million dollar cap may seem like a lot, but when you have uh, significant health care costs, cancer, or MS, or in our case, hemophilia, you can burn through that pretty quickly. It was maybe $1,000 worth of medication a couple years ago, now it's about $3,000 a day. That cost increases every year. This is not an issue that's really confined to families like my own with kind of crazy, chronic, serious issues. It's something that, that runs across the entire fabric of society, every kind of family, every kind of town. Um, there's somebody who's got some kind of problem and hopefully um, a lot of the protection issues in the Affordable Care Act are gonna uh, give them some benefit. When we found out that Chris could possibly be covered under the Affordable Care Act with health care reform, I was thinking, oh no, that's not gonna pass, you know. And then I was like, oh my goodness, it happened. <laughs> it really happened. When we saw some of the things that would impact us immediately, like him being able to be back on our insurance policy up to age 26, it was just a major relief. One of the biggest proportion of people who are uninsured are young adults like you who are making the transition from college to uh, their first job or uh, to a graduate degree. And yep. uh, the fact that uh, you guys are able to stay on uh, your parents' health insurance up to the age of 26 obviously makes a huge difference. I just see this plan as allowing me to um, kind of continue my education and um, just kind of absorb as much information as I possibly can. My doctor had said to me when, she, when I was diagnosed with cancer, it's either going to be you're going to have to go into your retirement son, fund or you're going to die. Those are your choices. When that was signed, I mean, that just changed my life completely because then I knew I could get the treatments and I would be okay. I want to thank you so much because if it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't be here right now. And this is, that's from the bottom of my heart. The, uh, look, it, it, it means so much. I, I, you had had trouble buying health insurance uh, before uh, the, the pre-existing condition uh, fund got set up, is that right? Right, I, I couldn't, there was no way I could. Um, I was denied. Uh, you know, it's still a battle uh, that you're fighting, and, but now you've got some allies on your side and, uh, and you don't have to spend all your time worrying about uh, paying the bills. Michelle, Michelle and I uh, are, are thinking, thinking of, of you. you. And I really appreciate you being willing to tell your story because uh, you know, well, I, I think what happened to you and your family can happen to anybody. And, and that's, you know, sort of one of the main messages that we want to deliver to people. Yes, exactly. You're right.